Hey everyone, happy Good Friday. As you can see, I got uh, two push mowers in front of me. Both of them are pretty much identical. They're both Tecumseh's and they're both, I uh, believe, MTD branded. I could be wrong on that, but I do believe they are. This one here on the left is a Yard Machines 3.8. This one here on the right is also a Yard, sorry, the Yard Works, pretty much the same thing, 6.25. The machine on the right we picked up off the curb for free. It runs absolutely perfectly fine. I, I primed it, one pull, fired right up. The one here on the left I paid $10 for from a friend of mine. He purchased it, did not need it, he's older, so um, he already has a good lawnmower. Um, he actually purchased it for me and I just had to pay him back for it. Um, needs a carburetor. So they're both Tecumseh's, they are both pretty much identical. Uh, the carburetors are absolutely identical on these two machines, so I think you guys know where I'm going to be going on this. The carburetor from the one on the right will be going on the one on the left. I might pull the bowl off even though it does run fine, and just make sure there's no crud in there. We'll see, most likely will. Also, the one on the left needs an oil dipstick. As you can see, it just has the little yellow plug in the base of the block, which I hate those, everybody hates those. It's basically a stupid thing that the uh, manufacturer did. Um, they basically did that so the engine would blow up because you could not check the oil and it makes it very very difficult to put the oil back in the engine. And this one here will be sold, hopefully between $60 and $80. The one here on the right I will be putting back together with the carburetor from the one on the left. So essentially I'm making that one there a 6.25 and this one here is going to be made a 3.8. That's, that's the jetting and the carburetor that pretty much does the horsepower on these engines. Really, I could swap the engines back and forth, but I really don't want to do that. There, it, that one there on the left is a flip lawnmower. I do not want to have much time into it. So I just want to get it done and get it out the door. The one here on the right, I do have the wheel, which is sitting right there. I got the washer in the house for it. I could put the wheel back on. Even though it has a hole in the deck, I could still get between $20 and $40 for this machine in good running condition. So I might do that. We'll see. It's a shame. This is actually a fairly new lawnmower but clearly it was not taken care of. My other plans for the weekend are to get the head gasket done on the engine that's going in the white and get that engine mounted. I have everything to mount it. I picked up some bolts and uh, washers to get that done. Um, I already had nuts and, sorry, I had to pick up bolts and lock washers. I already had the uh, nuts and um, big long, big wide washers. And the other plan is to hopefully get that John Deere finished. Get the new front tires on it, get the deck on it. Uh, the kids that got it from said everything was there for the deck. Hopefully everything is. The deck is ready to go. The tractor is pretty much ready to go. And um, I was looking online. They're going for a good good amount of money right now. Um, I do got sharpened the blades on that. I do know that. Um, the one's pretty good, but the other one is... Um, kind of dull and kind of worn on the one edge but um, it looks like somebody ran that tractor with a, of a flat tire in the front and they were not easy on that tractor definitely before they pulled the engine or before it was resold but um, it's doing pretty good now it's all pretty much all fixed up now um, just got a couple of cosmetic things left to do tires like I said and to put the deck back on but um, other than that that's what I'm up to this weekend um, tomorrow is supposed to rain so hopefully I can get these done today, get them done, and get them off to the side, and get them ready to be sold, and do the um, white tractor as well. That's the next one I do want to get done, and then do the John Deere tomorrow or Sunday, even if it does rain. But um, these here, only thing I don't have for these is oil, so I might have to go out and get oil for these. I don't know yet. Uh, I haven't even checked the oil in either of these. If the oil is good, I'm not going to change it. If I think there's another season left on the oil... I'll definitely leave it alone but um, I'll go from there uh, see how it is and uh, yeah like I said I'll, go, I'll see from there so I guess I'll talk to you later please keep it redneck like always and uh, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for updates on everything I mentioned in this video bye for now